Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you've been well. Hope you've been hanging in there through all these weird times. Uh, I'm feeling it just like you're feeling it. So ready for things to go back to normal, hopefully. Uh, but I wanted to give you guys an update of what I've kind of been up to, why I haven't been pumping out tons of videos like all the other YouTubers out there or pumping out tons of Instagram posts like all the other Instagrammers out there kind of catch you up to speed on what I've been up to, some of the projects I got going on, ask you some questions, looking for some feedback uh, that as always through the history of my channel kind of helps direct the content that I make depending on what you guys are interested in seeing. So we're gonna go through that kind of stuff today. So I hope you follow along and enjoy the video. And I definitely encourage you to comment down below uh, as I'm asking questions and whatnot as we go. So YouTube, am I a YouTuber? I have a plaque, right? This plaque I think shows that I'm actually a YouTuber, but I've never considered myself a YouTuber. I'm just a normal guy that occasionally posts YouTube videos. Uh, and I haven't been doing very much exciting. I've been doing a lot of pretty boring stuff in my mind though, I enjoy it. So it hasn't really been what I felt was video worthy, but that's kind of what this video is gonna be about. So stay tuned, we'll kind of talk about that stuff. And Instagram, I haven't been posting many Instagram photos because I haven't been doing a lot of stuff that's photo worthy. And I've never been the guy that goes out to make a video or goes out to take photos. I just, as I'm out doing cool stuff, I make a video or I make a photo. So that's why content has been a little sparse lately, I guess. But also just because I've been really busy with a lot of kind of spring cleaning type projects that I've had going on. So this is where I'm gonna like look for some feedback as we kind of go around and I show you what I've been working on. But I've been doing stuff, spring cleaning stuff, just like you, just like a lot of normal people have been trying to get my life organized. And if you watched a video a little while back, I've been doing a ton of projects around the house. One of those projects was around building a chicken coop and a chicken run and raising chickens. Ashley got a ton of chickens. I wanted six chickens. We have 16 chickens right now. She's given some of them away, so we're not gonna keep 16, but I think we're gonna end up with a few more than six. We'll show you some of those in a bit. I said that if you want more than six chickens, you're gonna have to raise some food for them. So we have to like raise some mealworms. She doesn't wanna do like crickets or roaches, but she's like, maybe mealworms. So we might raise some mealworms for food for the chickens, if you're wondering. Uh, and then raise some fodder or something, grow some plants. Uh, and that kind of all comes into this self-sufficiency thing that I've always had an interest in and kind of want more. I've owned chickens in the past, but didn't grow our own food for them, I guess. So I'm gonna be doing some of that personally. I don't know that that's a topic or videos or stuff that's interesting to you guys. So I'm looking for some feedback down below if you wanna see some of that stuff. I've had a lot of requests to see the chicken coop. I guess a lot of people are buying chickens right now because who knows, we may be having the Great Depression soon. And I know some of the channels that I've been watching, like gardening, like growing food channels, just because I've been trying to become more educated. That's what I, I, I love to learn. So I've been watching YouTube videos and apparently, they're all growing, like a lot of people are getting into growing food and sustainability. So it's not like a bandwagon I'm trying to get on as far as like to get YouTube views or anything, but it's something that I will be spending my own time doing. So if it's something that you are interested in seeing, I can kind of, like I was saying earlier, make videos of the journey and kind of what I'm up to along the way. Uh, we'll show you some of that in a bit. I've also been kind of doing a little bit of stuff to the rigs. You saw Ashley's RAV4 walk around. I've been working with companies on kind of some future product releases. A lot of stuff has stalled though. So I had a lot of things in the works, right? I had a lot of trips that I had to cancel, some events, Overland Expo canceled. I was gonna go out to Korea, canceled. I was gonna go up to Alaska this summer pending some, some things with the vehicle build I was trying to do that probably is gonna be canceled as well. That represents a ton of uh, lost income for me, actually. So uh, if you're wondering how I'm doing financially, I'm okay, but I am also taking a hit financially, just like everyone is. Uh, a lot of companies are lowering commission rates. Uh, a lot of people aren't gonna be sponsoring and buying ads. YouTube ad revenue is down as a whole. So if you're wondering, I am, affected by that as well. So I do always appreciate you. A, a large form of my income is using uh, my coupon codes and my affiliate links. So LLOD.US slash coupons. 
always help support me if you're just looking for a way to save money and help support what I'm doing. Um, that's always cool. But all that to say, a lot of my plans that I had for the last month and for the next few months were, were canceled. So that kind of had, I had a hard time with that personally because I was excited about a lot of upcoming stuff. I had a Surefire training event. Overland Expo is always a good time to hang out with friends. This Alaska trip, I was really stoked about going to Korea. Um, all these things were canceled. Not to mention all of just the normal camping trips that I would be doing with Ashley. Ashley is dying to go out camping. And we've been trying to, I don't know, wh whether you believe with the stay at home stuff or not, it's a very tricky, it's a very tricky conversation to have that I'm not even gonna attempt to. The economy is super important and jobs and livelihood and all that stuff. And I would love for things to open back up with some strict measures in place if that's what's needed, wearing masks, what, whatever has to be done. I think the economy can't sustain too much more of this. So I'm all for opening it up. But at the same time, I have a lot of family and friends in, in the medical world who know that this is a big deal as well. So I get both sides. but. All that to say, everything that's been going on has kind of not made me depressed or anything, but kind of demotivated me. Uh, and not really like my life is falling apart or anything like that. Like I, this is not a sob, woe is me story, but it just kind of made me sit back and just want to veg out uh, and just mindlessly work on these projects. So that's kind of what I've been doing. But I'm not really in a funk or anything, so you don't have to worry about me. Like videos will continue on going, but that's why I haven't been like, yeah, let's crank out a video every day or do daily vlogs. I've just kind of not been feeling it. So hopefully we're getting back to a state of normalcy and I'll return to kind of making more fun videos. Uh, and I do have some videos, a lot of gear videos and stuff planned that I will still knock out. And then some fan favorites. I'll do an EDC update, maybe a truck update. All these things that people want to see, they're coming soon. So a lot to be stoked about. But come on with me and I'll kind of walk you around for a bit. So here's a little thing I actually been toying with for fun. This is 400 watts of solar. These are each 200 watt panels that I just kind of hooked together on this janky two by four thing that's running to a grid tie uh, solar inverter. So this is basically feeding power into my house. Uh, I nerd out over solar. I have a solar array on my roof actually and I'm gonna be adding more on another part of my roof. So this is just kind of science experiments for myself. I have it hooked up to a smart outlet so I'm measuring how much energy I'm actually producing. But this is just one random thing as I was walking out to show you something else, which is some apple trees. So these are um, some apple trees. I bought about six apple trees online. And this is part of the uh, kind of self-sufficiency thing I've been working on. This is a honey crisp. Let's see if we'll get some focus here. Honey crisp. I've a red delicious, a golden delicious, uh, a honey gold, a few of those. I planted some in my backyard and some in my front yard. So I'm gonna see if I can grow some apples at high elevation, just out of curiosity if it can be done. Um, and you know, it goes a little bit, kind of getting my feet wet into being a little more sustainable. You see I chopped down a ton of trees and split firewood and I know I'm not supposed to stack firewood against my house there is a pretty sizable air gap and this is under actually a metal roofed deck uh, for fire reasons and for pests and stuff you usually don't want to do this I have actually cut down a bunch of wood for fire mitigation though so it's kind of a kind of a weird thing I'm trying to help my house not burn down but stacking it probably not in the best place you usually want to stack it away from the home but this is covered uh, and then I'm gonna rake all of this out. So this catching fire is pretty low risk and we don't have termites up here. So not really too worried about that. Out here is where I cleared a bunch of tall trees and where I planted a couple of apple trees because I'm putting more solar on my roof there. And this is kind of Southern exposure. So it's a great spot for it. Here's the outside of the chicken coop I built and I actually planted some lavenders here 
both for the bees and because chickens like lavender. So I don't want them to completely destroy these bushes, but as they get bigger, some of it will go through the fence and they can eat that. So the coop here, this is the roofing, metal roofing I built. It's not fully enclosed yet. It's kind of almost nearing completion, but I'll put a little gutter on here and harvest the, the rainwater for some stuff. But up top, I don't know if you can tell, we have, this is all metal roofing and I put two uh, clear roofing panels in here so they get some more sunlight. And again, this is the southern side, so this will get the most amount of sunlight. The reason I went with the fully roofed in enclosures because we get so much snow, uh, they'll have this area to kind of roam around and it will be snow free. Um, Let's walk inside and I'll show you a little more. So this wall, this is a wall I built to be a YouTube backdrop. This is in kind of a basement. This is one of those weird like half basement walls that I put metal roofing on and this wood backdrop. And this is actually just, I did it all myself. This is fence pickets that I kind of like stained to look, to look weathered. Uh, I'm only mentioning that because I'm thinking about doing this in my workout area, which I'll show you now. So I got a squat rack here. I was fortunate to find one on Amazon before they completely went out of stock. I don't actually know the stock levels now. And I finally found a bar and a few weights in stock. So I've kind of slowly started working out again. Uh, in this area, I'm probably going to do up to look cool like my, my YouTube area. And I just put some plywood, this is three quarter inch plywood, two sheets. I kind of cut this one and cut the corners of it to use as a little mat area. I got my 120s over here uh, and Ashley's got some of her weight equipment. But I've never done workout videos or fitness videos in general, but people have asked me to do them a lot. And now that I kind of have a home gym set up, Maybe it's something I can do. So if you have an interest in, in watching that, um, I'm not a, not a fitness expert, but I've been working out for <laughs> like a couple decades now. And was actually a personal trainer uh, during college for a short period. So I know a little bit, but I'm not gonna turn into like a fitness junkie. But if you want to, my take on kind of some functional fitness, Maybe that's something we could get into a little bit. I finally bought good old Bob into the house and filled up his base with water so I could give him some, give him some punches while I was here working out. Uh, I got rid of my steel plates. I was using this as like a weighted uh, plate carrier. Basically, I just had an extra one, but I only have lightweight. Like I have a few sets of really lightweight, um, like ceramic and other type of panels. <laughs> so I'm trying to figure out the best way to add some weight to this so I could do some weighted pull-ups and stuff. Maybe I just need to invest in some cheapy steel plates. I'm not sure. One other thing I've been doing is I bought a bunch of these steel ammo cans. So I'm converting all of the plastic ammo storage I had into steel. And then I bought this cheapy little treadmill a while back as well. So I could start getting into cardio shape a little bit. If you remember a while back, I tweaked my ankle real bad. And the doctor told me I probably wouldn't be good to go for a year or a couple years, if ever. So I'm kind of slowly integrating a little bit of cardio back into it. Uh, and then I bought, brought a tray's bed over here so we could look over the chickens and the cat wants to eat the chickens, but these chickens are a little bigger. They're probably getting to the size where they would beat the cat up because they're little dinosaurs. So excuse the mess again, kind of in construction right now. So we got these four random chickens before we got the rest of our little ones, which I'll show you. And this is the coop. So this is the enclosure. I have some motion sensors and some cameras out here. So it's going to be fully enclosed. I kind of got doubled up on the welded wire for some of these parts and that goes into the ground a couple feet out that way to prevent digging predators uh, and again that goes all the way to the ceiling this is the roof i was talking about where we kind of have this skylight in here which lets in a lot of nice natural light 
that's two sheets of the polycarbonate. So this is kind of their coop area that again is in progress. This is the coop that's mostly done. This is where they're gonna lay their eggs inside of here. And this is kind of the inside of what's going on. I haven't built and put in the roosts yet cause they still like to kind of, they're still babies. So they like to sleep on the ground. And chickens are really dumb. Like once one gets in here, the others are like, how'd you get in there? But they figured it out. Anyway, again, the idea is I live in the mountains. We have bears, not big Alaskan grizzlies or anything like that. We've got the smaller bears, but they're still the main predator that could rip through this kind of stuff. We have mountain lions and bobcats and foxes, but the closure is going to be pretty much uh, good to go against anything up to like mountain lion size, but a bear will still be able to rip through this stuff. So we're hoping it just buys us enough time with all my motion sensors and security to wake me up and I can come out here and scare the bear off. But yeah, so they basically got to get into the run that's fully enclosed and then they got to get into the coop which will be locked up. We're actually gonna have an automatic door. Uh, Omelet, this company that makes the coolest automatic door actually sent me a door. Well, they're sending me one, I don't have it yet. So I measured out roughly where it's gonna go under there and that's the ramp that's gonna come out. So that's the, that's the chicken coop I built. So. I designed and built this. This is actually a fully insulated coop. There's insulation on every wall. This window's insulated. The nesting box you can actually see. I haven't put the finished wall on here, but that's the insulation that's in here. So they'll be pretty comfortable. Chickens are pretty cold tolerant though. So we're only gonna run a heater in here probably when it's down in the single digits or below. Uh, otherwise, they'll be fine in there and their body heat will keep them, keep them nice. I do need to add a couple vents in the front uh, to keep it vented out. And then we just got a cheap piece of linoleum. Uh, cheap is, is free, actually. Ashley found it on Facebook. So we can clean that out pretty easily and nicely. So that's the, that's the coop in uh, getting closer to completion phase. I don't know. I think it turned out, I think it turned out all right. And so for the coop, I will actually have a blink camera here just to check in on the chicks because we just started putting them outside. I used <laughs> a tree that I had to cut down here uh, for that. And then these ones are pressure treated four by fours in, I mixed and poured some concrete in the bases there. And yeah, hopefully this thing doesn't fall down. I, I did some monkey bars on it and it feels, feels pretty good. Uh, so we will see about that. Hey, Trey, you. Trey loves, he basically spends most of his time outside uh, when it's nice out. He just loves bathing in the sun. So he's got a doggy door out to the deck, but hangs out mostly back here. Uh, this is fully fenced in. And I got my other two apple trees back there and I got a couple more coming. So I may uh, put a rain barrel out here somewhere. And here's the last, here's the last little bit of snow <laughs> actually. There, there, it's in a couple of spots, but this little fencing, I gotta push back because I actually put it up after it just first started snowing. And then once it starts snowing on this side of the house, there's snow here until till May or June. So I got to clean up some stuff, kind of some junk back here. And my life will be pretty in order. So here's a rain barrel that I've had that I'm going to hook up to this gutter to fill. And it's up on my deck, basically second story deck. So this will have water pressure that I can water the trees down there. And it's all part of the kind of self-sufficiency thing where I can use rainwater to water plants. And then I have a couple other ones that won't survive here, but they're gonna be indoor plants, it's like a, a lemon, Meyer lemon, and some orange, calamandrin orange or something, and some honey berries and blueberries. So I'm trying my hand at this kind of stuff. You asked me two years ago if I'd uh, be 
gar- I guess it's called gardening, even though I'm really growing it for fruits. If I'd be gardening, I would laugh at you, but I'm just, I'm trying. So if you have any uh, gardening tips or food growing tips, feel free. My mom's actually a great gardener, but I had never showed any kind of interest in it. But now she's growing like microgreens and all kinds of stuff. So <laughs> I'm talking to my mom about some gardening stuff, which is kind of, kind of funny, something that I never thought I would do. But just, you know, always good to expand your skill set. So yeah, in addition to just the normal spring cleaning stuff, been doing painting, trying to purge and organize the garage, maybe I'll do a garage tour once I have that cleaned up to a level that isn't embarrassing. So I've been doing that, spring cleaning stuff from, from guns and ammo organization to chickens to gardening to managing some rain gutter stuff, kitchen remodel. I've been busy with a lot of stuff that is at this point in my life interesting to me. So if any of that stuff kind of resonates with you or is interesting to you, I'd love to hear about it down in the comments because as this channel kind of varies and evolves and grows and follows, it really follows my life. I'd love to hear what you guys are interested in seeing. So I'm not just producing videos that only I'm interested in, I guess, which is kind of what I've always done, but I've always tried to kind of cater them to what you guys, the viewers, the subscribers are looking for. So yeah, that's what's been going on. Uh, gear videos coming up again. I'm probably doing EDC video. Uh, Diamondback is sending me, I think they're opening back up. So they're gonna send me the new cover, which I'm gonna install the new front runner rack kit on because that's a question I get asked all the time, kind of my Tacoma Overland bed setup, which isn't just for its Tacoma, it could be for any truck, but it is the system that works perfectly for me and I love it, love it, love it. So I'm a huge supporter of that setup and through kind of that setup, I developed a relationship with Diamondback. So I'm kind of back and forth with the products that they think would be good for kind of the Overland market. Uh, so kind of helping them with a little bit of product development, I guess, but they, they made, they've made a great product before I was in the picture, but been working with them, then been working with Frontrunner to make this kit kind of a reality that kind of goes hand in hand. And now Frontrunner and Diamondback are kind of working together on some stuff. So it's really cool that I've, I guess I've, I've helped, I'll, I'll take some credit. I've kind of helped to facilitate some, some relationships in these industries. And it's kind of really awesome to see those things come into fruition. So I got some of that stuff coming up in the future, as well as all of my relationships with both uh, the firearms industry as the B channel kind of blossoms whenever I make that happen, as well as kind of the vehicular prepping gear survival space as well. So channel's not going anywhere. I have not fallen off the face of the planet. As you can see, just been tied up with some stuff, but most of those big projects are done. And then I'll go back into having time and energy to actually produce videos that hopefully you guys like to watch. So as always, this whole thing, thanks so much for the support. My, I've gotten some new patrons, I think, because there's more people watching YouTube and I've had a few messages from them saying like, I didn't even know you had a Patreon. Like I really had to dig and find it. So you should mention it. So I have a Patreon where I do a live patron only video where I just hang out and chat and answer questions and kind of talk about, about my life. So if you're in a place financially where you want to help support creators, I do have a Patreon. Uh, it's linked down below. And again, shopping through through my links and using my coupons because I do really work hard with all of these companies. Like Dometic is a recent company that I got on board to give me a code that can either save you guys money or get free shipping or whatever. So I work hard on my end to both save you guys money with companies that I believe in and back and support um, that offer, not always, but as often as possible, I try to encourage them to offer an affiliate uh, relationship program. So I list all those on my website. So companies that I like and have relationships with, oftentimes saving you guys money, always appreciate that. But mostly I wanna hear about kind of what videos you wanna see, adventure videos, weekender lander videos, those are kind of bread and butter. I really enjoy making and doing those videos. So those will continue. But if you wanna see any of this other stuff, let me know. All right, I think that's it. Hope you guys are hanging in there. And until next time, take care.